I've learned that there's a difference between happiness and joy. Um, happiness can change with your situation. Joy, true joy, you carry regardless of what that situation is. Cause I'm moving forward. started to change in the fall of last year. My daughters joined a choir of a church that they go to after school. And they were like, Mommy, we got to go to church. We got to go to church. We're singing in the choir. I didn't think choir. I didn't tell you to join the choir. They were following God where He was leading them. They weren't worried about what I was giving them permission to do. Um, but we got up and we went to church. And through that, going weekly to hear my babies sing in this choir, I got to feeling more and more like I'm starting to figure out what's missing. I just didn't know where to find the answer um, to get what I needed. Where do I need to go? And then my cousin extended an invitation to go with her somewhere that's going to change my life. Oh, okay, I'll go. From the moment I walked in the door, I was just met with love. People have never seen me before. They're just hugging me and loving on me. And the message was, it's okay to be you, just who you are, right where you are. We just want a connection to Jesus. And that's exactly what happened. Life has just been crazy since. I mean, my circumstances haven't changed. Um, my finances haven't really changed. All those things that get you down in the press. Bills are still coming in every month. They still have to be paid. My salary is not that much more than it was. Um, this just transition, but now I have hope. I have hope that you know everything's going to be okay. I I don't worry about any of it. I feel lighter, and I've had people tell me that I got a glow. <laughs> I didn't notice it, but one thing that I did notice was different was. There used to be a time people would ask me, what club you go to to dance? Where can we go to get a good drink? And now, over the last six months, I've had person after person ask me, where do you go to Bible study? Where can I you know, go to attend church? People from different states that are just here to work are approaching me at work. You know, can I go with you to such and such place? You know, I just need the word. And for them to look at me and see that, I never imagined, I never imagined that they would look at me and see something that would lead them to Jesus. Um, so now I just, I smile and tell them where I'm going and invite them. I've had two people uh, just to come visit with me. And I just keep thinking, you know, I've heard so many people say, a lot of people don't go to church because they've never been invited. And had, you know, Mario not been obedient, and started what he was called to start. Had my cousin not been obedient and extended an opportunity for me, I could still be lost. But because they were obedient and did what God led them to do, my life has changed, forever changed, for the best. There are just no words other than thank you. I would probably tell someone else that I've learned that there's a difference between happiness and joy. Um, happiness can change with your situation. Joy, true joy, you carry regardless of what that situation is. So, just take the step. If you take that one step, 
I promise you, God will meet you right there. And He will help you come to growth point. He will help connect you right where you are. It doesn't matter what your past looks like. It doesn't matter if you feel like you're good enough. I know I didn't feel good enough. I didn't feel worthy. I've had so many people discount me, um, telling me that, you know, my journey didn't count. My baptism didn't count. They can't touch me. They can't touch this relationship that I have with God. I don't even worry about what they say. I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I know that I'm loved. I'm loved and I love. And it just feels good. It feels so good.